Hey everyone, welcome back. Do you want this sword right here, Shisui? Or do you want Wando or Sadie? If so, you've come to the right video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. And when I hit 25,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a Blocks Roots giveaway. So if you don't want to miss out on that, Join my Discord server in the description below and also subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get straight into the video. Alright, so if you want to get Shisui, Wando or Sadie, you're going to want to be in the second C, have done the Bartillo quest, which I believe you need to be level 954, and then you need to go in the server and talk to the manager. Right here I'm talking to the manager. What's up, warrior? Do you wish to hear where he was last seen? By he, he means the legendary sword dealer, which sells the Shisui, Wando, or Sadi. You ask yes, and he'll give a dialogue right here. Each dialogue, it means something different. Are you new to this island? Means that you haven't completed the Bartillo quest yet. It's still too early for you to be here. This is what happens when you just join the server and you need to wait 10 minutes before you can speak to the manager. This is to prevent server hopping. The next one is the one I have right here. Some pirates said they ran into him on a nearby island last week. Check back later and I'll let you know what I hear. This means it's around 3 hours or more until the dealer spawns. The next text is a man in here earlier claimed to see his ship nearby today check back with me later. That's when there's roughly an hour and 15 minutes left until the dealer spawns. The next text is, I think he should be getting here soon. It's all anyone in here has been talking about. That's when there's 15 minutes until the dealer spawns. The next text is, hey, I just saw him. He told me he would be in the area for 15 minutes. Good luck. That means the dealer has spawned and you have 15 minutes to find him. I'll show you all the possible locations he can spawn right after the very last piece of text, which is, meh, he left not too long ago. That means the dealer has left and it will show up for around 30 minutes after the dealer has left before switching back to the some pirates said they ran into him on a nearby island last week text. It will also show if the server is new. Now the spawn locations for the legendary sword dealer. He has seven spawn locations. The first spawn location from the cafe is all the way at that rock up there. So let me just go up to it right here. The spawn is right behind here. The next spawn I usually look out for is the waterway spawn. And by waterway spawn, I mean over here, there should be a passage to walk down. Yep, right here. And then you go to the underground waterway. As you can see, it's got a couple of chests. And he should spawn on one of these. I'm not entirely sure which one. I'm pretty sure it's that one right over here. But yeah, that's the second spawn that I know of. The next spawn is at the Kabucha Island or the one where you buy Kabucha. As you can see off the shore right here, there's a tiny island right over there. Let me just grab my boat and swim to it. Right here is Usopp's Island. You can buy the Kapucha here. And the legendary sword dealer can spawn inside this house right here, the center house. Let's go right back to the spawn. The next place the legendary sword dealer can spawn is the Colosseum. As you can see right here, I am in the Colosseum, and that's where the mansion is up there. He should spawn roughly over here, in between one of the archways at the top level. One of these ones. The next place he can spawn is at Green Zone. Right here is the quest rocks, and then you go all the way over here. The next possible place he can spawn is somewhere behind these three rocks here, near the Fujita boss. The next spawn is also on green zone. For the next spawn, you'll have to go up into the air. As you can see, I'm going up. And he should be on one of these leaves. 
it's either this leave right here or that leave over there. This one is a quite annoying one to get to if you don't have flight. And the final spawn is at the graveyard. I'm heading straight to the graveyard now. All right, so I'm at the graveyard and the final place you can spawn is somewhere around here on the top of this middle pier. So he can either be, uh, I think it's around this area or the next one or even this one here but he can spawn on the top of the central pillar which is this now that you know all the spawn locations why did i say shisui wando or sadi now that's because he can only sell one at a time and it's a one out of three chance that he'll sell shisui wando or sadi now if you want to make the true triple katana then you're going to want to do this three times at least to get all of the swords. Keep in mind that each sword costs two million belly. He can have a sword you already have in stock, so it can be a little annoying to get all three of them, and you just have to do it a couple times before he has the ones you want. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.